Hi everyone and welcome to the weekly wallet review show. We had a good week last week with three nice winners, Wayanka, Shandana and Tangled. Yeah, Wayanka, um, he's taken a little bit of time to work out but now he's a gelding, he's got, got the jump done nicely on Monday um, and then yesterday, while uh, Tangled wasn't exactly blessed with the greatest of rides but he did it the tough way and won well, looks a progressive type and Shandan is a horse who's always promised a great deal but um, never really got to the dizzy heights we had hoped for but blinkers on yesterday, wow, she was impressive. She was. How was your holiday? It was so? good, had a nice couple of days off. It was a long weekend. Yeah, it was very good. Well, you've been training hard? Yeah, I'm doing a half Ironman for a brilliant charity called the Hope Foundation. Um, if you'd have any interest in um, donating to the charity, then please go to last week's newsletter and you'll, you'll find the link. Uh, it's a very worthy cause and uh, the guy I'm doing it with is actually his aunt lives up in India and so the money goes all direct. Um, obviously any donation is very welcome. And how far is Ironman? So it's a uh, 1.9 kilometre swim, 90 kilometres on the bike and then run a half marathon. Oh gee. So it's hard work. But anyway. It'll be worth it. It will. Right, Randwick Saturday, Sydney Cup Day. Yeah, absolutely. Postponed well, two weeks, but it's a good, good day, a good card. Very it good is. Card. We start off race three, the mile race. We've got the four runners. Sizzling Bullet. Sizzling Bullet, uh, he's drawn barrier two. Uh, Blake Shin rides. Listen, this is much easier than, than his last start and um, Hopefully he can he can bounce back to a bit of form because he was in the form of his life leading into the guineas. Black on gold, he won well last start. Yeah, he won very well over an unsuitable trip. Uh, 1600 was certainly suit. Uh, Brent and Abdullah back in the saddle. Good barrier, hopefully he can begin well. and Well, he's progressing through to races like the Queensland Derby, we'd hope. Egg Tart has won its last, two, last three, but last two this prep. Yeah, she's um, she's going to scratch and she'll now head down to Melbourne and race over a mile on Fleming, at Flemington on Tuesday. And so, just the last runner. Oklahoma, Oklahoma girl. Well, she's a last start winner. Obviously, you can't really fault them. This is a little bit harder, obviously, stepping up into a Saturday race, but she's um, she's in good form and she's, she's a horse who's lightly raced, so still very progressive. Then we move to race four, the 2400 metre race. We've got Richard of York coming up from Melbourne. Yeah, he's come up, coming up in good form. We've got Kieran McAvoy from a good barrier. Well, Kieran is probably one of the best. Um, well, he's riding exceptionally well, and especially over the 2400 metre distance, he really comes to the fore. So I see with him on 54 and a half kilos, he'll, uh, he'll certainly be there to be, there to be shot at. We then have the three runners in the ATC Membership Handicap, over a mile, Montauk, Soviet Courage and My Giuliano. Yeah, Montauk, he's, um, he's had a little bit of a freshen up since his last run. Uh, he's kept in work but just ticking over nicely. He'll be aiming for uh, the Warrior Cup, um, but listen, his last five or six runs have been exceptionally well, exceptionally consistent and we'd expect him to go well fresh. Uh, Soviet Courage is obviously resuming the mile distance is, um, is as far as we can really stretch him out first up but it's obviously still short of his best and when he gets up over 2,000 metres that's when we'll see him really come to the fore and the, similar for my Giuliano um, a mile he is still very competitive and he's drawn barrier five so he should be able to get a nice run but once he gets up over trip third up I'd imagine that's when he'll be really hitting his straps then we move on to the 1000 metre race, Sir Bacchus, first up, he goes pretty well fresh. Yeah he does, he won his, last, won his uh, first up run last prep, uh, 61 kilos makes things very difficult but Kieran knows the horse well and there's one on him before, so um, he's in for an exciting prep, winter preparation and um, well he's, he's going well enough to win a race like that. Then we move on to the Sydney Cup, the 3200 metre race, who shot the barman, Black Shin? Yeah, disappointing to see barrier barrier fifteen when he I think he drew 
Barry a four from memory in the, the original Sydney Cup, so that makes things a little bit trickier, but he's, he's come out of that, uh, that run, or that non-run, I should say, uh, very well and completely unscathed and galloped this morning really nicely, so he, he's certainly in for a, a bold show again. It's just great to see an old horse like him just come in time and time Morris. again and hold his form. Definitely. Uh, Liberin, Brenton of Dallas back in the saddle? Yeah, I think he's a little bit of a sort of forgotten horse. He was second favourite for the race um, from memory last year and um, he's going every bit as good as he was this time last year. He just simply the wet tracks have been holding him back. So, I mean, had, had you put in a couple of placings, which you would have almost certainly got on better tracks, then he'd be a lot shorter in the market, that's for sure. Brenton knows him well. Tricky alley, but it's two, two miles. Long time to make up for it. And Kinema, Tim Clark, Barry 14. Yeah, Barry shouldn't really affect him too much. We'll we'll ride him exactly how we did in the um, original Sydney Cup. We'll just leave him very much up to Tim. Just settle wherever he's comfortable. If that's going forward, then that's going forward. And if it's going back, it's going back. It's the most important thing for that horse is, is um, being able to switch off and relax, which he has actually been doing so in the last 10 days or so with the earmuffs on. Um, Tim got him to relax beautifully in the first half of that original race, so there's no reason why you can't do it again. And Pina Simo, last start winner, running over the 1400. Lee Magorian's riding? Yeah, takes a valuable three kilos off. Lee's a good rider, he's actually ridden out his claim obviously in New Zealand, so it's good to, for him to come over here and then suddenly get a three kilo claim again. Um, obviously one with with the claim last start, but uh, this is slightly harder, obviously being a Saturday race. But he obviously runs for apprentices, as he had a good run for them last last winter as well. Uh, barrier three should be able to get a lovely run, and hopefully he'll be fighting out the finish with a light weight. And the last race at Ranwick, via Napoli and Gretna. Yeah, she's come back in well. Um, Sixty and a half kilos obviously isn't isn't ideal. Um, but the vast majority of the run of of the runners in this race there's only a four kilo spread or three and a half kilo spread so um, it shouldn't matter too much she's trialed well and she should be um should certainly be fighting out the finish I would have thought although the trip is a little bit short right then we what's wrong with Gretna oh yeah Karen. oh okay Gretna <laughs> she was a last start winner uh, barrier ten makes things a little bit awkward. Uh, for Tommy Berry, but I'd imagine we'll just try and ride her very similar to um, how she was ridden at Warwick Farm, so she, he'll be positive from the Barrys and try and have her right up there. Um, she was obviously brilliant in, in winning that race, and this is harder, but there's no reason why she can't have taken confidence and build on it. Right, now we'll go to Caulfield. We've just got the two runners, Irish Optimism. Yeah, he's, an, he's a nice horse, he'll really appreciate stepping up to the mile distance. Craig Newitt in Barrier 2 is only a, only can be a positive. He should be able to get a nice run in, in transit and uh, consume little to no energy in the, in the mid-stages and really let down strongly. Obviously his first up run was just short for him but it was just simply building him in uh, fitness and condition. So he's, uh, he's going really well. And French Emotion, she's been running well in Melbourne the last two starts. Yeah, she has. She's on the, on the quick backup. Dropping back to 1,400 metres, um, I guess is a slight concern, but obviously her ratings suggest that she is um, a long way, by a long way, the best horse in this race. Uh, ben Mellum gets on really well with her, again from a good alley. Um, I shouldn't see a reason for it to be too sharp for her. We've done little to no work this week, and she'll um, she'll really be there trying to take out this bonus race. Very good. That's it. Have a lovely weekend, everyone.